Okay, well, <clears throat> like like that announcer from our uh, real bout uh, Fatal Fury, <laughs> get in the ring. <laughs> Shout out to my Neo Geo players. What's up with it? <laughs> Look, <laughs> so Microsoft is Microsoft is trying to bring a handheld to the market. And PlayStation is expect expected to bring a handheld to the market. Well. Like that announcer said on, on our real about uh, Fatal Fury, <laughs> get in the ring. <laughs> well, you know, Valve, uh, Valve started a war, you know. Valve said uh, we couldn't find a game. <laughs> the Steam Deck couldn't run. And here comes the competition. <laughs> but, you know, you know Valve, Valve was ready for all that smoke when they made that statement. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what's up with it? What's up, gamers? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Tribe, Nation, Universe, World, Legion, what's good? Mom, what's that? The squad, what's up? Nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators. Oh, I got three videos done already. This is my fourth one, so. <laughs> Sitting here messing around here. Y'all probably thought y'all probably thought I wasn't going to drop nothing up. Think again. But anyway, all right. Listen to this. Both, X, both PlayStation and Xbox expect to launch handhelds next generation. It says, new challengers for the upcoming Nintendo Switch 2. Hmm. Well, like the announcer said, get in the ring. Hmm. Yeah, to all my, to all my, to all my Fatal Fury players, what's up with it? <laughs> I know, I, I know y'all looking forward to that new, uh, new Fatal Fury that SNK is working on. Neil Geo players, yeah, y you. Anyway, what's up with it? <laughs> Look, it says here, uh, PlayStation is expected to return to the handheld market during the next generation. This generation could also mark Xbox's first entry into the market. According to the rumor, both game giants will compete fiercely in this segment for the first time. Well, <laughs> see, 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 Valve was smart. They put the Steam Deck 2 out there just to let the competition know they were ready. So, anyway, <laughs> look. It says their uh, handheld gaming has, has grown exponentially after Nintendo uh, reinvent the market with the hybrid uh, concept today the Steam Deck, ROG Ally and more compete in this segment offering unique uh, uh, perks for those looking to, to game on the go. Actually it was the Steam Deck because uh, the 64 gig model can run Batman Arkham Knight the Switch can't <laughs> anyway, says here uh Following this success, PlayStation, which once had had a massive presence in the market, is reportedly returning. With Xbox also uh, rumored to be releasing a handheld, both gaming giants are set to embark on the creation of next-gen portable system. Why it matters? Uh, this this push could lead to a bigger focus on unique gaming experience instead of the typical high-budget AAA games seen, seen in the industry. And then it says, according to a recent report, Xbox next-gen handheld will take inspiration from the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Therefore, it should serve as a complementary to compliment, complementary hardware to the home console, offering a docking station feature. This could also mark Microsoft's first entry into the market, making it an exciting uh, proposition. Meanwhile, leaks suggest PlayStation has been working on a handheld. This will this will see the ga the gaming giant teaming up with AMD, <laughs> making it capable of playing PS4 and PS5 games. What about PlayStation 3? But anyway, though the latter would depend on the developer, leak specs point to an AMD uh, RDNA uh, uh, CUS at 1.8 gigahertz. For the handheld, but not much else is known. Also, n not much not much else is known about Sony's ambition. Nonetheless, it seems both PlayStation and Xbox are headed toward an exciting direction in the future. Then it says here, uh, Sony might have an edge over Microsoft due to its experience in the market. However, Microsoft has worked with tablets like products before, so it won't be completely clueless. MSI has also confirmed a new gaming handheld, uh, adding more competition to the segment. 
Overall, it seems the industry will soon be shaken by new companies to take experiments with gaming on the go. <laughs> still, there, still, these hand, handhelds are expected to be in conception phase for now. Xbox is expected to, to transition to its next gen in next generation in 2026, while PlayStation is unlikely to move on from PS5 before 2028. Then it says here, uh, this should also this this should all also allow PC handheld SOC to further bridge the gap between desktop uh, parts, making them more capable of running full-fledged games by the time the next gen arrives. Anyway, that's it. Uh, PCs don't have a problem running games, you know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's it. So, anything else? That's it. All right. Well, Microsoft's coming out with an anthill. Hmm. Well, they did have the Razer with with your cell phone doing uh, streaming and um, uh, uh, do, playing games and streaming games. Sony, Sony trying to get back in the in the game, in the handheld market. Well, I would say um, use the PlayStation Portal. You put an eight-inch screen on the thing already on the between the controllers. So all you do now is put a motherboard, CPU, RAM, a nice GPU slash APU, and a nice little SSD inside that controller, and be done with it. You know, if you're thinking about coming back into the the market was the portal an experiment maybe could be maybe they wanted to see how the reception was going to be you know some some people got on youtube uh tried to explain it but whatever uh but sony had some success with it so now the only thing left to do now is um put some uh put a uh, put a motherboard jeep motherboard cpu GPU or APU, RAM, and an SSD in the controller, and be done with it. The answer is right in front of their face, so to say they're going to build a PSP and a Vita, forget it. You might as well just use the portal that you have. So, um, and fix the, fix the signal strength and be done with it. Microsoft, on the other hand, now, do they need to come in the handheld, mar in the, in the handheld market? Not really. I mean, do they? I mean, I mean, they already got Game Pass and all those portable PCs. I mean, from the Steam Deck to the to the uh, A and Neo One X GPD Odin, uh, Oxo, uh, Asus Rog, Lenovo, MSI Claw, and, and of course the Orange Pi that's coming. So, um, do Microsoft need to go into the handheld market? Yeah, they do have that option, but do they need to? I don't think so. So, yeah, we'll see what they do. But uh, right now, the market is crowded. Uh, Valve got the Steam Deck OLED with the with the HDR. <laughs> yeah, along with FSR three, FSR uh, three. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, um, you know, all these com all these competitors now. Um, are going to update their uh, update their previous models. Um, I think One X has a ten, uh, has a new one. One the One X has a uh, has a new one. Um, so you know, there's all these handhelds give you choices. You know, give you choices. So yeah, um, and speed speed power performance matters. But also functionality and utilization matters. So yeah, um, can Microsoft make a handheld? Remains to be seen. But they could enter the market if they want to. But they got Game Pass to deal with already. So yeah, and they're benefiting from all those streaming service with those ten-year contracts that they gave out. Plus all those handhelds have Game Pass on it. So you know. You already got Intel coming out with the um, claw, so 
does Microsoft need to be in the hand in the handheld uh, handheld handheld market? I don't know. I don't know. So you know, it's like yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just crowded right now because I mean you got the Orange Pie that's coming. You got A and Neo with their new one. One X has a new one. GPD is coming with a new one. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, do they need to get in the handheld market? I mean, they do have the option, so. <laughs> but other than that, man, I mean, yeah, it's very competitive right now. They do, you know, as time moves on, but it's competitive right now with these handhelds, you know. I mean, they all give you choices, they all give you choices, so yeah. You know, I remember articles months ago, months ago, uh, months ago, or even years now, that was saying that Microsoft should have should have gotten into the handheld market right around the time when the Steam Deck was coming out, so yeah. But they already they, they already had your phone with the, the two razor controllers plus your phone, so yeah. But now you're coming out. But well, now you got to compete with Intel. Of course, you got to come with this compete with the Steam Deck. Of course, there's ASUS. So everybody's trying to stake their claim, you know. But the thing is this now: Game Pass is on everything. So on all, on a, on, a, on a, a lot of these handhelds, except for the. Uh, the um the switch so yeah Meh. but we'll see you know um, what they do but valve was ready you know they said we couldn't find a game the steam deck couldn't run remember all those people that was taking shots taking shots at the steam deck calling it a clone Kurt calling it um what did they call it they were calling they were they were um they were trying to make fun of the battery life and the HDR but the 64 gig model Steam Deck was was a was a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the Steam Deck was just pushing right along. And Valve kept put, kept coming. Update, 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 update. Communicate, communicate. Users, Valve, communication, update. Oh yeah, they kept pushing. And while we were sitting here talking about a Steam Deck too, and they were talking about oh this, the Steam Deck needs a OLED. Okay. Valve was listening, but they were listening and working on the OLED at the same time, so, yeah, and they dropped it, so, yeah, the Steam, the Steam Deck is a, um, is, is a force to be reckoned with, I noticed this article, <laughs> they tried to give the Switch the credit, but it was the Steam Deck that really did it, because once, uh, once Sony was bringing their games to PC and then Xbox and then you seen the Steam Deck running those games, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> so, Steam Deck took off, man, and um, yeah. And then all, all these competitors came out trying to compete. But the Steam Deck is still ahead by miles right now. <laughs> so, Valve is working on the Steam Deck, too. So, whenever they decide to drop that thing, we'll see. But other than that, man, um. Uh, Microsoft, my new handheld, Xbox. Yes, yet, maybe, yes or no. I mean, they have Game Pass to deal with, you know, so, yeah. And that thing is on every other handheld there is, you know, so, yeah. Except for the Switch or not PlayStation, so. Just saying. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Fighting, Port, Dark Side, Go home. Peace.